Finally, to a story uh, unravelling partly above our heads, history could be made for all the wrong reasons up there. An astronaut has been accused of committing a crime in near-Earth orbit while on board the ISS, the International Space Station. There is unequivocally no truth to these claims. We've been going through a painful personal separation that's now unfortunately in the media. OK, I'm sorry, but if this was me, I would definitely own up to this. How cool would it be to be the first human intergalactic space criminal? That potentially the first crime in space may have been committed by a woman and a lesbian speaks to how far we've come. That would be astronaut Anne McLean, who, if this is true, will have as her legacy this crime instead of anything else she accomplished. We'll let you know any updates as we get them on that one then. Astronaut Anne McLean spent 204 days in space, orbiting the Earth more than 3,000 times. But it's what she allegedly accessed while up there that may have her in trouble back on Earth. I was shocked and appalled at kind of the, um, the audacity of her to think that she could get away with that. The accusation comes from a bitter divorce and custody battle. Estranged wife Summer Warden saying McLean used a computer on the International Space Station to access her bank account. The pair has been fighting over Warden's six-year-old son. In a statement on Twitter, McLean says there's unequivocally no truth to these claims. We've been going through a painful personal separation that's now unfortunately in the media. Her attorney told the New York Times the astronaut did nothing wrong and was only checking the family's finances like she had in the past. NASA's inspector general is now investigating. There's no question that a U.S. court, uh, if a case is brought, would be able to exercise criminal jurisdiction over an American citizen. But it does open up the broader questions because there will be cases in the future that are not quite as simple. Right. Well, the agency says they don't comment on personnel or personnel matters. McLean was reportedly on a short list to be the first woman to walk on the moon. No word on how this might affect that. She says she has faith in the system.